you can see, it's a gorgeous day out here. Today is uh, January 7th, 2023. And this is the, the day of the Knick uh, 200 Joe Reddington Senior Memorial Sled Dog Race. With 27 teams enrolling in competition today, uh, they're going to be blessed to have a, not only a beautiful day, but a day with hardly any winds. As you remember last year, it was not only extremely cold, but with high winds. So it's been a, a blessing today, uh, not only for the mushers, but those in joining and seeing them off and welcoming them back. And so they started at Kinnick Lake at the Broken Boat Bar and Grill in Kinnick. And they'll be returning here in a matter of a few hours. We have an absolutely beautiful day here. And in time, they'll be coming through again. We want to say a special honorary mention to Lance Mackey, this year's honorary musher, which currently and presently is the only musher to have ever have won the Iditarod and the Yukon Quest in the same year in 2007. So for those pioneers and greats of the sports, we'd like to salute Lance Mackey and his family and with many others, the Reddingtons, the CVs, and there are many others, you know, as families of mushers go. But today we'd just like to say, we'd like to say thank you to all of those who support and not just financially, but give their time as volunteers go and welcome you and say thank you. So stay tuned. Hey, good morning, folks. Uh, we are enjoying a blessed day today here at the Connect, Connect Lake at the Connect Bar. We've just participated in the uh, Connect 200. Roughly 37 participants have now started the race and they're on their journey for a 200 mile trail run. They'll be coming back at the halfway point. But with us now is Ramey Reddy. We're privileged to, to have a pioneer of the sport with us today. And if you viewers are not familiar with Ramey, I'm not gonna speak too much longer. I just wanna share with you what's on his heart and what is on his mind and some of the questions that maybe many of you are not understanding the history. So without further ado, I'll just introduce you to Ramey Reddington here and uh, for Robin and I were privileged to have this interview so I just want to ask you Ramey we know that your dad was not only kind of a, the founding pioneer of the uh, custom here in Alaska as far as dog marshes go we'd like to ask you what was it like growing up with Joe Reddington as you know, the head of the household if you will well we uh, did a lot of fishing and a lot of dog uh, taking care of dogs and everything we had about I think when when I was about 14, I think my dad had about 300 dogs. Man, that's a lot of dogs. And we uh, been doing dogs since, and all of us, and yeah. my kids, and uh, everybody been nothing but dogs. Yeah, it's uh, important to understand what he just said, you know, from Joe, right, to Ramey, and then of course, transcending down to Raymond and Isaac and many others in the family, as many of you are aware of. Not just the legacy, but a lasting impact, not only on the sport, but this culture of dog mushing and fishing and things you know that pertain to the trail systems around this area. It's an important fact to bring that history and culture and keep it going and growing. And we're thankful that you've uh, made quite an impact and built upon what Joe has left as well. But tell us the story, you know, when you had to eat that dog food, when you forgot to bring your own food. Somebody once shared a story with me where I think you were on the trail and you forgot to pack your food because you were in a hurry to get going. Well, in 73, when it first started, I did a run. My dad was going to run the race, but he got so busy trying to raise money for the race. And he asked me, he said, well, you would take them uh, from Anchorage to Connect and um, 60 miles. And, yeah. and when I got in Connect and everything, I said to my dad, I said, I think I'm, you want me to take them all the way to Nome? And he said, well, maybe uh, you, if you wanted to try it, go ahead and I'll fly you some dog food in and everything but the weather got bad and everything but i made it all right i had to eat a little bit preen of dog food and, <laughs> but everything turned out good and uh, well, that's quite a feat to take upon even today you know uh, at that age uh, it was good and you know that's one thing about the i did right i can say i ran it twice from anchorage to uh connect so it only happened two years that that happened all the way from the start to, uh, you know so that's amazing kind of humorous we're not laughing at you but we're sharing in the the humor that it is because i can only imagine when you first realize you didn't have
have what you needed as sustenance, you know, to keep you going physically that, well, I guess my alternative is Purina. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to take one for the team, I guess, so to speak, huh? Yeah, Purina gave us, I can't remember how much dog food for the race that year. So Isn't that something? I'm glad they did. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. So I, I got to imagine that as a dad, you're pretty proud of Ray and grandsons and your whole family for that matter. Not just uh, stepping into the shoes, so to speak, because I don't know if anybody could fill those of your dad or yourself, you know, from the generations after. But this, what you're leaving to this generation is, you got to be happy with that, I would think, Ramey. Yep. And a lot of, you know, you look at years ago and everything, the dogs did everything. I mean, they did the mail route, they hauled the wood, they yeah. hauled the water. Yeah. And dogs did. Uh, quite quite dependent on, I'm yep. sure. You know, everything, the, least. Yeah. the dogs, that's how everybody traveled. And yeah. even in my day, I could see a lot of uh, things that the dogs that really was important. Yeah. And today, here we are, either stepping them over them or telling them to get out of the way. <laughs> well, you know, when, when the dependency of them is quite ironic compared back in the days, right? Yeah. So, without tying up your time and, you know, flooding you with questions, I just want to tell you thank you for your contribution, not only to the sport and the culture, but the impact that you've made, not just on your own family and the people around you, but, you know, for Robin and I as well. We're grateful, not only for the interview, but for your friendship, too. Ramey. For those that have not understood the Reddington name or maybe even the legacy left behind, we're hoping that you stay tuned not only to Seven Mile Hill Sanctuary, but for the events to come. You're going to continue to hear the Reddington name in days ahead. God bless y'all. On the trail, and you just saw Nick. This is what you don't want to drive on, right? This stuff. This is the overflow right here. Now.
you can see the mile mark is eight. We're headed up to Nine Mile Hill. That little triangle at the bottom shows the Iditarod Trail, that reflector. That number up there is the mile marker. So we're on the trail, we're on the Iditarod Trail, and we are headed to Nine Mile. We got one more mile to go, so stay focused, stay tuned, stay connected. Six before you stepped on a sled? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> I'll go ahead. I'll let Robin finish up. Oh, no. You go ahead. I got it. But yeah, no. So and then, uh, yeah, we got in when I did it out last year. Finished it. So we're going back one more time. Nice. Nice. Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, I, uh, At any rate, I just want to say this. Hey, good luck. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, it. What was your name? Lance. Lance? This is my wife, yeah. Robin. Hi, nice Robin. to meet you. Jason Mackey. Yeah. Are you doing this as a qualifier? No, no. Okay. No. No. So this is literally in my backyard. So I, how long has it been <laughs> since you? I think the last time um, I ran the Connect 200 was 2000 and I want to say 2010. Wow. Yep. I think well, I've ran back, man. Good I've luck ran you. like 15 times though. Yeah. This race. Yeah. Oh yeah. Obviously the pioneers of the sport, yep. which is encouraging to us because yep. we've got steps up there too. And we, we're only here. We, this is our fifth winter, yes. So we're we're working on getting going, and so yep. input like folks like yourself and yep. others in the know. community. Cool. We're hoping to get our feet wet one of these days doing what you do. Cool. You guys are on the new okay, and this is on uh, sled check from Casey Randall's, and we got everything on the checkboard. Yeah. It doesn't always take blood family oh to God, make a no. family. Are you kidding me? I have enough, I mean, family to go around. <laughs> All right, awesome. My name is Whitney McLaren, and I'm going to be taking pictures here today at the Connect 200. You can find some of those pictures at mushingphotos.com. Nice.
down because uh, of the ice. I think because of the ice. Huh? Yeah. Okay, we must go stop or get it over
is
So that's what we're doing is trying to promote the sport and oh, keep, keep it going, keep it alive. Yep. Well, that's what we're trying to do, that's for sure. <laughs> Everything helps. Every little bit helps. Amen. Uh, thanks for your help. You're out volunteering for the race this year too? Or? We're, trying to, we're, we're trying to get more and more plugged in with uh, uh, not just the sport, but people involved with it. Finally, you know, we're doing a lot of work like yourself yep. and others. But, uh, Robin and I have been blessed to have some property out on Nine Mile Hill. So, right at the top of the uh, historic Iditarod Trail. Yeah, cool. Here, so we're hoping in time that well, we're putting together a you know a spot, not necessarily just for marshes, but for recreational people coming out there. And, nice. You know, cool. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Absolutely. But, uh, anyways, welcome again. Uh, it's Privilege this morning to be with uh, last year's I did rod champion, Amen. Mr. Brent Sass. <laughs> we want to say congratulations to him and his team, yeah. and uh, uh, just uh, welcome uh, and Dad. him not only in oh, this video, yeah. but congratulate even as a uh, second runner up even yeah. in this. Yeah. Is, uh, oh. Not to you know diminish uh, your accolades or anything like that, yeah. but uh, it was a great. Just want to say uh, for all you viewers out there. Here today at the Connect uh, 200, there's a lot to be said uh, with what he brings to the sport as Amen. well as many other mushrooms here. So exactly, uh, we just want to say thank you yeah. for your contribution not only to the sport but for everything that you guys do and awesome. exemplify. Well, thank mushrooms. you guys too. So yeah. awesome. Uh, Have a blessed day. day. Thank you. Oh, well, I've been around. I know most of the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Well, uh, uh, inspiration. I enjoy. For us. We, we love. I love what I do. I, I know almost every mushroom. Pretty fun just to join meeting people, sharing. I have friends from all over the world as a result of this. Yeah, and you said 25 see years. What it does to these people that these young people they get started, they have good mentors and talk and share. It just it's all what it is. I've watched Brent from the wild bus, you know, pile of dogs that he started with every year. It just successfully kept going. He's had 60 dogs. Wow, and it just the uh. Every move counts, and you can just see what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is yeah. a testimony to the sport, yeah. but also a great legacy. Yeah. Yeah.
awesome. You did some pretty good timing there. We were watching your beacon go across the, some of the lakes oh, this, yeah? this morning. Yeah, we could see it coming through oh, the clouds. It wasn't too bad. I mean, there, there was there was a few sections out there at times where yeah, it was foggy last night, but yeah, then it would clear up. And, uh, so it was only kind of short sort of like, you know? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful night. Yeah, Beautiful was, night. The whole day in the evening, probably pretty warm walking through the upper Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, I mean, I was dripping in sweat out there, so yeah. it was fun. Plenty of snow, pretty good moon trail. Great trail. Probably the best place trail I've been on. Nice. Thank you. Nick, I did ride Trailblazers, would like to give a special thanks to God for allowing us to have this privilege to run another race in 2023, the Kinnick 200. Joe Reddington Sr. Memorial Sled Dog Race was a huge success, and a lot of that due to the financial blessings that we've been given from the Kinnick Bar and Grill and the Broken Boat, Sheep Creek Lodge, Eagle Quest Lodge, Jansen Funeral Home, Three Bears Alaska, Jason Stewart, Smith Log Works, Dream a Dream Sled Dog Tours, and to all of our amazing volunteers. I would just say thank you again and we welcome anybody that wants to be partakers of this great race again next year god bless you all